Good morning, Madison Campbellview. Today is Monday, November 8th, and we are running on a day three schedule. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Whew. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's going to be a delicious lunch today, boys and girls. Okay. We have taquitos amigos, chef salad with a soft pretzel, or a PB&J jam and sandwich. Sounds delicious. Okay, the theme of the month, or the, the I'm It theme, is conflict and resolution. And the question of the week I'm going to ask Ms. Sabita is, what does conflict resolution mean to you? Ooh, that's a good question. So first of all, conflict and resolution are kind of tricky words. So conflict kind of just means like when you disagree with someone or maybe you're like butting heads slightly and resolution is how can we solve it and be um, come to an agreement. And I think one really great thing that we do at Camelview with Miss Sigity and Miss Swiger is our mediations to solve conflicts. And so sometimes we have kids on campus or even some adults and maybe they're they're not seeing eye to eye and they're having a conflict or they're disagreeing, we can sit down with Miss Swiger or Miss Sigity and we can have a mediation where we discuss our feelings and how we can come to an agreement, whether that means we're gonna be friends or maybe we decide to respectfully not be friends. That's a great answer. Thanks. I love it. Okay. So I know each month we've kind of been focusing on a different individual mm -hmm. who is kind of defying the odds or overcoming obstacles. In September, we talked about Ray Lewis, mm -hmm. and October, we spent some time talking about Michael Jordan. Ray Charles. Um, what did I say? Ray Lewis. I think you oh, combined two people's sorry. names that we're talking about. Yes, it's Ray okay. Charles, not Ray Lewis. Ray Lewis is a football player <laughs> with a troubled past. He also he also overcame obstacles, but we're not talking about him, at least this year. Ray Charles, I think um, is what we talked about. Yes, yeah. Ray Charles, Michael Jordan. Yeah. And this month, we're going to be talking about someone. Um, his name is Nick Walenda. And he has a bunch of world records, mm -hmm. and he's really he's he likes to challenge himself, yeah, and just defy the odds. Push so the envelope, yeah. So what are some of his world records? Oh my gosh! Well, just to name a few, I'm gonna say he has the highest blindfold walk. So he covered his eyes and did a very far walk. He has the highest bicycle tri top crossing, meaning he's like not he's crossing something in the air like a tightrope like a tightrope yeah like a rope up in the air and then let's see look at down here and um, the bahamas oh this is a crazy one and we say don't try this but he hung onto a helicopter using his teeth that's unbelievable unbelievable this guy is a daredevil so lots of lots of daring acts yeah. all of them very dangerous don't try them at home no um but the kind of the gist of this well-known individual is that he puts his mind to something and he works and he works and he works and he practices and he practices and he never gives up so he has grit yes i would say it even says in his little bio here that one of his like slogans or what people know not notice him as is a person who's never giving up like that's something that people always associate with him so that's really interesting yep and tomorrow i have a little video of him um, that your teachers are going to play for you so you can actually like see him in action. Very, very cool. So anything else this week? I, I don't like think it's so. a normal week this week. We don't have school on Thursday. That's Thursday it. is Veterans Day. Yeah. So that means Wednesday's a full day. But other than that, it's a pretty like normal week for us, I guess. Yep. Yeah. So please remember to follow your Cubs expectations so that our vision can come true. And our vision is in an ever-changing world, we can lead, we can learn, we can inspire. Thanks, and have a yes kind of day. Bye, Cubs.